Hi, I'm Eric Egley, and welcome to this month's segment of PS Pointers. It was about the first week of December, and somebody at the studio had mentioned that we needed to do a Christmas card. And so I started thinking about concepts. And although we didn't go with this one, uh, I, I played around with this, and I thought it was kind of a cool technique to use. So uh, this is an image that I shot in uh, Glacier National Park out in Montana. And this is Goose Island. And the only problem with, of course, this shot is it was shot in the summer. And I wanted to create a winter wonderland. So let's see how I uh, went about doing that. I mentioned channels uh, a few PS pointers ago. And I'm going to go back into channels here. Um, and we're going to start off with the green channel. And let's select that. Let's go up to the select pull down menu and, and go to color range and from there there's a select sample colors that's a pull down let's take that and let's see what the midtones look like that's pretty good so hit OK and we have a selection of our midtones on the green channel from there let's activate our RGB on the top of the channels and go to layers and we're gonna go to create new layer down in the bottom okay and what we're going to do is we're going to fill that with white, okay? And you can do that one of two ways. You can either go to your paint bucket and make sure your white is selected on your foreground. Or what you can also do is hold your command key down and hit delete, and that'll fill with the background layer, okay? And I'm going to do that a couple times here, two times. Hit command D or deselect, and we got some snow happening. Okay, that's a good start. Let's take it a little bit further. Let's go, and you can notice we got some stuff happening up in the sky here. I'll tell you what. Let's take take a look at that first. We're gonna we're gonna take care of that. Uh, click that layer off. That's layer one, and let's let's name that. That's our green channel. So we don't we don't go back to that. We don't want to use our green channel again. Okay. Click on the background, and what we're gonna do. I don't use this too often, but for this one, it worked really good. Select your magic wand. And I got the tolerance to about 33. And go ahead and click in the sky area. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a selection of just the sky. Hold down your shift key, add selection, and keep clicking until all of our sky is selected. And that gives us a nice outline of the mountains here. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, get that moon. There we go. Okay, so now we have a selection around the mountains. And I want to go back into that green channel layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer mask. And I'm going to do this in an automatic way. I'm going to hold down our option key, which is going to select the black foreground layer. And I'm going to hit our new layer mask here. And there you go. It popped that right out of there. It created a layer mask over here on that green channel layer. And it got our sky back. And let me, let me show, you, show you what we have there. There you go. That's without the mask and with it. Okay, <clears throat> let's go back into the blue uh, blue channel, I think, this time. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into the select, pull down, color range one more time. But this time, what I'd like to get is the shadow areas, because we're missing the snow in these areas here in the mountains. And that looks pretty good. Click OK. And now we got all these dark areas that we were missing before. So go back. Select your RGB uh, layer on the top and go back to your layers. Again, let's go new layer. And we're going to fill that with white again. So hold that command key down. That's the background layer we're going to put in there and hit delete. There we go. We got that filled right in. That looks pretty good. Command D for deselect. This time what we're going to do though is we're going to go ahead and double click on that layer. Okay, and we're going to go down to blend it. Okay. Go to the underlying layer, layer right here. Hold your option key down because we want the darks of the uh, bottom layer to come through. So it says underlying layer. We're going to hold the option key down because we want this slider to divide here. And you can see as we slide that, we can see some of the darks showing through underneath, underneath the trees and in the mountains there. We don't want to go too much though. Let's take it about right there. And I'm looking at the mountains here. Because what we're going to do from there, I click OK. 
We're going to create a layer mask again. Use your brush. And what I'm going to do is sort of paint out some of this stuff here so that we have a little more detail in our trees and that. And you don't have to be real specific because snow, you know, sometimes gets blown off there. So that's looking pretty good. That, that looks like we got snow. The only area that isn't really coming up is this area in the center. And we're going to take care of that real quick here. What we want to do is create a new layer. This is going to be just center, we'll call that. And so what I want you to do is just take your brush, um, make sure you go and change the foreground layer to white, and just paint white right over that. There you go. That's cool. You don't have to be exact. And here again, double click that, and we're going to go back to that underlying layer, the blending layer. Hold your option key down to split that up, and we're going to let that come in, get those shadow areas to pop up there. There we go. Here again we're going to add a layer mask and then make sure that your foreground layer is on black paintbrush and we're just going to paint out the areas that we really had a little too much white in. There we go. That's about it. I mean what the only other thing I'd do is probably add an adjustment layer here going up in the levels just to add a little bit of um, contrast to the image. There we go. And that's about it. Took a real nice summer scene. Here's the before. And turned it into a winter scene. There's the after. If you have any questions, please fire them off to me on the, on the blog. And please remember to check out my website, ericegglyphotography.com. And I hope to see you here next time for PS Pointers.